Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's probably not going to be too long of a video, but I really wanted to document this because it's really cool. So for like the last like two years since I got the Eclipse, I had the idea that I wanted to K24 swap it and uh, use it for like time attack and stuff like that. And uh, I thought it was going to be like at least another year and something before I do the swap and it still is going to be. But I got the opportunity to pick up a K24 and I just could not say no. It's a really good deal. So I actually just pulled out the cash right now. I'm about to go meet up with the guy. Hopefully this goes well. I mean, if it doesn't, you're not going to see this, but <laughs> all right, I'm excited. Let's go. Hell yeah. We got it in the car. Fast forwarded a little bit. Didn't want to record much, but thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Really appreciate oh, yeah, it. Anytime. Hell yeah. Super stoked. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and take this thing home. He's going to help me take it down. So let's get to it. Alrighty, we're back at the house. We've got the motor in the trunk. We're gonna go ahead and take one of these old tires I've got here and set it up on the spot that I cleared up earlier. And then we're just gonna put the motor right there. I got a stand uh, earlier in the week from Harbor Freight, but I've gotta like clear up all this space over here. So I'm just gonna put it here on the ground for now. And then later on in the week, I'll have somebody come over and help me put it on the stand. But for now, let's go ahead and get it out of the car. Yeah. Well, it's not going to stay like this for oh, long. Yeah, you're going to put it on the stand. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. We have got the engine in the garage on a tire. Nothing crazy, but it is mine. Hell yeah. Super stoked. Get that engine into this car eventually. I'll get better shots tomorrow, I think. Actually, I think maybe I'll keep the video going until I'm able to get it on a stand. That'd be super satisfying. <laughs> so I wanted to take a second to kind of uh, talk about something I was feeling or going through a minute ago. It's kind of a moment of surrealism, you know. In uh, in 2015, I uh, I got you know kind of kicked out of the army, not in a in a bad way, but uh, you know not how I would have liked it. You know, honorable discharge, but still, I uh, got out and didn't really have any direction. You know, I uh, started going to uh, school to work on motorcycles, and uh, you know that's what I thought I wanted to do. I had uh, been going to school for a couple months, and uh, you know I started playing uh, Forza Horizon 2 on the, uh, I think it was yeah the Xbox One. And uh, I kind of, you know, fell in love with drifting in the game with a Mustang. And it was kind of uh, late 2015, early 2016, I had made the decision that I was going to try and buy a new Edge Mustang and I was going to build it as a drift car. And that was my, my main goal, you know. So about three years go by, uh, come summer of 2018, your boy puts together 1900 bucks and uh, picks up the Mustang. Maria is her name. And uh, so began the journey that I had uh, kind of set for myself three years earlier. It took three years just to acquire the car. It took, about a, it took another year of building and uh, maybe like three or four thousand dollars later and I took it to its first drift event. Four years after I had declared that uh, I was gonna buy this car and build it to take it drifting, I finally took it to its first event. About a year later, um, since I stopped driving this car on the street once I took it to its first event, about a year after I took it to its first event, I, I needed another street car, so I bought the Eclipse. And uh, after I bought the Eclipse, you know, I decided that uh, I was going to street drive it for a while, and then eventually I was going to retire it and turn it into a race car, just like the Mustang. And, uh, you know, I wanted to, eventually I made plans to, you know, K24 swap it, as crazy as that sounds, especially, you know, at the time. I had only taken my Mustang to its first event, maybe its second one, 
I was, you know, just doing like the, the rear end swap, the 8.8 swap, which was like the biggest job I have ever done still to this day. <laughs> and, um, you know, I made that declaration. It's crazy. Uh, it's 2022 now. It's been, it's, it's been seven years. Yeah, since 2015. Seven years since I made the declaration that I would be buying this Mustang and taking it drifting. Here I am. The Mustang in my garage, built by myself, with the Eclipse out front, and a K24 right next to me, and a torn apart LS behind me for the Mustang. It's crazy, man. Seven years. If you want something, for real, like really, really want it, it takes time, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Alrighty, guys, it's the next day. Um, I was hoping it was gonna be sunny so that, you know, I could like bring the motor out in front of the car and take like a cool thumbnail picture and stuff like that. But uh, it's like super gloomy and depressing. We've got another hurricane coming in in November, which is ridiculous. Um, normally, you know, once October is over, we don't get any more hurricanes, but I guess not this time. So uh, apparently it's only gonna hit us at like a category one which is what Ian hit us here in Sebring at. So I'm not uh, super worried about damage and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, I spoke to my friend Joel, who's a big like Honda guy, and uh, it turns out he's got an engine hoist. So he's gonna bring it over so that we can get the motor onto an engine stand. I just kind of have to like uh, build the engine stand and stuff before he gets here, and he'll be here in like 30 minutes. So I gotta go ahead and do that now. Okay, I've always wanted to try this cool like YouTuber thing where they go just like that. Wow, hopefully that worked and I'm a certified cool YouTuber. And just in time too, because Joel just got here to help me lift this thing up and put it onto the uh, stand. I gotta take this one back. Okay, so we couldn't fit the hoist in here without taking the Mustang out and we couldn't fit the Mustang out here without moving my car. So it's been a little bit of a mission, but here we are. I mean, about to go ahead and get the hoist onto the engine, engine onto the stand, and joy in our hearts. All right, into the air she goes. trying to align holes that are already on the back of the block with these things right here so that, that you know we could mount it with these let's go got the motor on the stand had to jerry rig it a little bit because we didn't have the right bolts but like I'm not gonna be working on this motor for a while so I just needed it to be fine just to be able to prop it up and put it in the corner for a while but thank you Joel you the bestest we decided to pull the valve cover off. Just a whoop. That's why I'm not a mechanic. I just drop stuff. But yeah, we decided to pull the valve cover off so we could take a look at the cams and stuff like that. So let's get to it. Check it out. We got the valve cover off. Everything looks good. Super stoked on this, man. What a good deal. What a good buy. Thanks again to Joel for helping me out, man. It's the homie. But... All right, let's uh, bring it out by the car. I gotta get this built fast thumbnail. Look at that. Close the door. Uh, no. <laughs> it's a ghost ray, right? 
But yeah, we've got the motor next to the car that it's eventually going to go into. Man, this is definitely still surreal for me. Like, I mean, it's like a year or two before I do this swap, but like, look at my race cars. <laughs> Super stoked. Alrighty, guys. Uh, forgot to film an outro. Joel already left, but alrighty. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate the support and really just anybody following along or being interested enough to watch. So, again, thank you. And see you guys next time.